Alrighty, folks. Hello, 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 hello. Can you hear me okay? Is the music kind of going down now? I'm turning this off. Sorry, Daniel Deacon. Hi, friends. Welcome to another episode of Rocky Sucks at Photoshop. I'm Rocky, and I'm drinking a pumpkin spice latte. I also ate an apple, and I'm going to have one bite of a burrito. I just did about six hours of phone banking, so I wanted to make sure I was alive and awake for y'all. Let's, I'm going to try this shot out. I just tried. I just created this. Oh, just <laughs> it looks like absolute chaos. Um, a Joe Perry Terrence Malick collaboration. When? Mitch. Mitch, I love the way your brain works, because I feel like we have uh, similar neurons firing off on a constant basis. Also, speaking of, didn't do this on, on purpose, but represent Joe Parra Talk to you, best TV show of the last two years. God damn it, I love that show so much. I'm so excited to watch it again. Um, hello, friends. Welcome. This is the first time I've caught the intro to your show, and I'm so impressed with how much you've worked to put this together. I The second I figured out OBS, I was just so, like, I was like, oh, I can make this thing really ridiculous and, like, have fun with it and insert my, like, stupid sensibilities into it. So, yeah, uh, you know, hopefully you like it and have fun and your brain hurts a little bit because I like that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, phone banking. Boy, oh, boy. Yeah, Mitch. <laughs> oh, you're, you scare me. Uh, welcome, friends. I'm so excited for tonight. I I have overbooked this show. I got so excited about doing this show, realizing I could use OBS, that I just got way too many guests as quickly as possible. But we're gonna we're gonna give it our all, and we're gonna have fun. If I timed things out properly, we'll have time to do a uh, audience collaboration at the end, where you'll all get to make me do something really stupid. But I think after this month. I have one more week after this of, of heavily booked guests. Um, and then after that, I think I'm going to do one guest per episode and then like one uh, audience collaboration. So like each one gets an hour essentially. And that can be kind of a nicer, more prolonged, less rushed and hurried situation perhaps. Um, I don't drink coffee often, so I'm a little wired. I'm very excited. This is just going to end up being Patty Harrison's most recent Instagram post. Patty Harrison is one of the coolest people alive, let alone one of the best comedians currently working. Her art and Instagram are horrifying and wonderful and hilarious. Um, yeah, that's that's been that's been up there, hasn't it? Okay, we're gonna start it soon. I'm gonna have a have a bite of this burrito, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna go. Folks, how are you doing in the chat? Hope you're well. Thanks for tuning in. This is now a mukbang stream. My dog is now asking for a bite of my burrito. It's not going to happen. Sorry, Jolene. But we are going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to finish chewing. Sorry. Give Julian the burrito, Rocky. I know, start a movement and maybe I'll consider it, but right now she's had too much good stuff to eat recently. We gave her some human food. We really shouldn't have. We spoiled the hell out of her. I spoiled the hell out of her. I'm a bad doggy dad. Um, dogs can't talk. You don't know what... Yeah, I guess I don't know what she's really asking for. Maybe she's telling me to stop eating the burrito because I'm just eating poorly recently and she cares about my health. This is a breakfast burrito from Takaya, which has... Um, Beef, scrambled eggs, caramelized onions, some peppers, poblano, and chilies. It's quite good. Um, you've seen the documentary, Hub. Uh, Takaya is the shit, indeed. My girlfriend really loves it. And at first, I'm, I weirdly don't love Mexican food. Boo me. There's a, there's a boo sound, sound alert right now you can press and pay to actively boo me on my own show. Um, but I'm so weird and like, I'm, I'm a picky eater. I was a picky eater. I'm trying to get out of it. So I didn't, I don't really like Mexican food usually, but she convinced me to get something from here and I really loved it. I know. Yeah. Boo this man. Uh, yeah. Aiden, 
It's no joke. I appreciate a shocked gasp even more. Uh, yeah, Patty Harrison's a, a wild individual. Big fan of hers. She's the best. And I'm a big fan of this person. Oh, let me get to the thing. Here is what the show looks like. Oh, boy. As you can see up above, I'm, we're still accepting donations to the Armenia Fund. Terrible things happening in Armenia, and the people down on the ground deserve all the help and recognition they can get. Uh, you know, look up and retweet and research and share some stuff uh, from people who are over there and following what's going on. It's terrible. And uh, they deserve our love and help. Anyway, there you go. Lots of things happening. God, it's also Filipino American History Month. I'm going to do something about that before the month's over. But I'm so excited to have this first guest here. Let me see if I can get them on a video call right away. Uh, they're so wonderful. They've been so kind to us in the past. They've been on the show. Hilarious as well. On that. Hey. Hey. What's up? You want a treat? I'm going to give her a treat. Jolene. Here's a treat. She jumped up on my leg and took the treat. Hi, Jackie. We're just staring at our dog right now. Oh, and my guest is here. Uh, did this appear on my... Uh, let's see. Get rid of this. Still new to OBS. Still panicking. What am I looking for here? So this is transparent, no handle. Uh, yeah. Okay, theoretically. Oh. And let me just pop this out. And there you are. Hello, friend. Hi. Oh, I can't hear you. Oh. Hmm. Let's see if I can figure out how to hear you. You're talking, you're talking. Hello, hello. Oh, is that on your end or mine? I do not know. So nervous. Uh, let's... Hello, hello. Yeah, gasps really help out. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Um, you're talking, you're talking. I can't hear you for some reason. Uh, folks, it's it's Brad Witchery, <laughs> our friend Harley. Um, yeah, my bad. This is totally my bad, I think, Harley. Sound alerts are louder now. Great. Wonderful. Uh, here we go. Output device. Oh, I can hear the clicking. Gus, I was just emailing a prospective client about my business. So. Oh, great. Perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, thank you so much for being here. Sorry for all the technical delays and everything. Um, that is A-OK. -okay. You're doing great. I have worse technical difficulties, and I've been using OBS for a while, so you're fine. Good to know. Great. Right. I feel so much more comfortable. Um, awesome. Let's go ahead and get settled in. Thank you so much for joining us today, by the way. That's right. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited for this um, lucrative business partnership that we'll be having i i take my business very seriously if you uh, can I, tell from the passion in my voice that I, my my side business is very important to me you're so, so. you're so serious and it scares me yeah but uh, i also respect well, it very deeply it's a really important business for me rocky so obviously obviously we, sorry duh yeah. idiot uh you know my side business right like yeah i've yeah i've heard you I mean can you explain yeah. to the audience for those who haven't heard because they're of not course. as serious yes. as we are um, of course, I am. I'm a. I'm a mallet dealer. I'm a. I, I sell ducks. Oh my god! Of course, yes. yeah. Who could? Of course. <sighs> You're so good at that too. I almost wish that you'd make that your primary career. Yeah. Almost more than. <laughs> Me too. I. I would like to, but the, um, there was some legal issues. Something about ecosystem and mm -hmm. my many many. <laughs> minute right um, i know so. the, the duck economy is really just uh in shambles it I'd is. Say. yeah covid did it, not help that at all it really didn't no it's a shame um, well um yeah. so are you thinking about making like an ad advertisement for your duck business or yeah so okay. how many i've forgotten I, I know i sent you a thousand dollars to pay for the posters but i don't remember how many i commissioned how many posters have i commissioned you commissioned uh one big poster uh, right. But then you said in parentheses, maybe we'll put smaller posters inside this right. poster. And okay. then you can like cut it out of the poster and then put that somewhere mm -hmm. else. Yeah. But big okay. poster, I think, is what you're... Right. Okay. I was 
say, well, the big poster then I'm looking because I'm I need more uh, employees. Mm, okay. Obviously. So like a help um, wanted kind hard. of. Yeah, it's hard doing everything by myself, and they're starting to see through all of the disguises that I'm doing. Um, so wow, hey, you're both really the professional. And the law. Um, mm -hmm. So I do need extra hands to help out with that. So obviously. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so then let's get started. We're gonna make a help wanted poster mm -hmm. for for what's the name of your business? Do you have? Is it like bread witchery duck fun? No. Okay. It's not my name. This is this isn't being shown anywhere, right? This is a private conversation. This like, is a, a closed Zoom call. Yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um. So it's it's Morgan's Mallard dealership. Morgan's Mallard dealership. Yeah. I feel so like I'm yeah. Morgan. Ah. Wait. So. You... Wow. Right. Who's who is Morgan right. then? Do you have like how far does this uh, this Morgan go? Is it like a, a split personality? Do you have your own separate life as Morgan? <laughs> That's such a stupid suggestion. All right. Sorry. It's yeah. only I wake up and I kiss my three husbands good day. Wow. And then I go to work for eight hours at the park doing the duck business, and then I come back home and I'm me again. You have to leave your work self at work, otherwise you go crazy. Of course. You go nuts, you go insane. Yeah, and you don't want your three husbands dealing with, uh, with that kind of, uh, you know, I don't. They have so, I, I don't, they, they all make over 100,000 grand a year. So Jesus like Christ, do they all work together at the same job or are they like their own individual, like business men? people you're asking a lot of questions here rocky i'm I sorry i the... we'll, we'll keep the questions to the yeah, ducks we'll but... keep the questions to the ducks yeah, thank you sure so um what's the kind of like tone you're trying to convey with your with your dealership like we can set this anywhere we can make this a very intense action-based right. thing of like you, the work you're going to do with these ducks swear right. to god guys i would say it's a very it's a very charitable experience it's a very oh, life-changing okay. experience being a duck dealer uh it's always at the parks so perhaps some beautiful nature scapes would be inspiring um please don't include anything about like muddy boots or urinated trousers or scratches from ducks on one's arms if you could just not include any of that Gotcha. So that you're would be ideal. Im implying that that is stuff that actually happens when you're working at it, at Morgan's. Well, between you and me on a closed Zoom call, I have been to several therapy sessions to deal with the several times I have urinated myself while picking up a duck. Oh but my god! Wow. Is there like yeah. is it's like... hard work, but someone has to do it. You know, like it someone, has to be done. Someone has to do it. Is the thing you think about mallards and they how do. how intense they are and how like duck, yeah. duck teeth are like really scary and fucked up, and so are other parts of duck bodies. And like you think, well, so, they're beautiful creatures, Rocky. So the most beautiful things in life are some of the scariest things, and uh, we have to think about that. We have to consider that. That's quite poetic. Yeah, that is yeah. true. Um, I'm finding some very beautiful photos of... Did you know our... that ducks are omnivores? I didn't know that, actually. I didn't think about that. Yeah. You, you must know so much about ducks. I bet you can tell us so many things about ducks. Yes, well, there are some things that I think it's best to keep private um, about mm -hmm. ducks. Things that I've learned about ducks are things that only someone who spends so much time with ducks would know, and I think we always kind of keep it secret. Um, and then it's best to not over explain the duck and then when when someone acquires a duck then they'll understand what it's like the duck will speak yeah the duck will speak for it itself. will teach them of yeah, course, yeah precisely sometimes they do speak have you heard them i've never heard a duck speak i mean i've heard the traditional Me neither i've not neither have i oh no but you know they they do i guess i didn't say that okay I sorry. I'm just. Uh, I, um, that was a very low quality photo, despite the fact that it's a large photo. So I'm going to try and find something else. This looks nice. We'll, we'll, we'll I've chosen this. to. Is it all right with you, Rocky, if I don't look at the poster until it's complete? Yeah, um, absolutely. So sort of guide the vision oh, together, so, you and I. Yes, and you'll kind of. You're just like okay. the visionary, and you don't have to worry right. about seeing it and being like influenced by what you're seeing, kind of thing. Like, exactly. Yeah. I don't want to. My eyes may well up with tears at the beauty of it and i don't that's fair right now i have yeah. to be in the zone you it's got... for the ducks i have to remember i'm doing this for the ducks you're doing this for the ducks right and thank you aiden wood for reminding me to change my prompt this is the second time that i've done this and forgotten to change that but uh, um and aiden i mean the person in my head who is like organized and makes me think right. about my work what's and the whatnot. prompt for what's the prompt the prompt is for me to remember what i'm doing because right. if i forget right. I, I have a very sh sl right. selective short-term memory 
Um, That's fair. I forget things as well when I'm on closed Zoom calls with friends in confidential spaces. Of course. Duck business poster. Now, I gotta ask, so... Do you just give people ducks? Is that you're you're dealing ducks out like a car kind of? So in a way, um, currently the business approach is to once I have the stock, it is to approach people that I believe speak to the duck. You know, sort of like their energy speaks to the duck, and then to encourage them to purchase the duck. And oftentimes, even if they don't want the duck, they will give me money anyway in order to have me go about the rest of my day and leave them be and like suppose they're denying to themselves the connection they have with that duck but that's on them so wow this is a very fascinating yeah. business practice um yeah. so what kind of vibe are you trying to you, like you're talking about serene and, and emotional um yeah very serene very kate bush almost i love that okay we're gonna yeah climb up this little hill and see a tiny duck of some sort um Precisely. So I guess in simpler terms and more blunt terms, do you have a font in mind? I feel like a font sets everything up at the beginning. Like the first, the second you see the font, you think, I know what this I is and I know I'm going to cry. It's quite a classic, beautiful font. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there it is right there. Thank God. And it's just big, bright red papyrus floating over the, uh, over a serene don't lake. Sh- don't describe it to me. Sorry. Like sorry. We, we're keeping it. Uh, we're keeping it Thank up. Um, are alerts not up? I'm pretty sure they are. Kevin MT. Who are you speaking to? Uh, the other part of my brain. I have about nine different personalities in my brain that all function and have different focuses, such as the technical things that I'm doing right now, or like right. the funny creative ideas, or the one that's like you got to eat food right. right now kind of thing. Um, that's kind of. That's a. You're a bit of a weird guy, Rocky, but I'm gonna allow it. Um, I'm just that. That's just the kind of savant that I am, you know. I just it's, right. I, okay. I, I need to com- right. I, I need to compartmentalize my brain a little bit. Um, right. Did you know that um, there's a common myth that ducks quacks don't echo, but they do in fact echo. What a strange myth! I can't imagine. I, I know. Why would anyone make up lies about ducks? Is what it upsets me almost to think of it. So I just wanted to say that to you. Why would someone the myth? go out and and lie about ducks? It is a. I know. It. <sighs> so they're quite emotional at the thought. Um, you know, people aren't ducks. I'll say that much. They just they wish they probably wish they could be. But I mean, with, with people, I wish I was a duck. Sometimes it would be so much easier than this. This existence. That this. Yes. Anyway, um, I feel like we should probably put. I a... love my husbands. Ha! <laughs> of course. And do you want to shout <laughs> shout shout out all three of their names real quick? Yes, that would be um, <laughs> Andrew and. Sky and Clancy. Dadrew, Sky, and Clancy. No, Andrew. Andrew, sorry. Sky. Okay, I'm just confirming. Clancy. Andrew, Sky, and Clancy. Um, yeah. are, so they're not part of the business at all. They have their no, own separate No, they don't thing. know. They have no. They can never know. Right. Okay. okay. Right. Interesting. Great. Well, um, I think we should get a duck on this poster. I mean, we're gonna have to tell. We're gonna have to show them what they're dealing with. You know, like it's it's mm-hmm. like it's this is the product. Like those old car ads that are just like white background and then the well, car, it's the less car of. I see the duck says less of a product and more of a gift. It's like a child. Oh my gosh! You know? Wow. Yeah. In the way that you you know you sort of purchase one. Right. Because you just got handed it off the street. Exactly. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. the many situations in which a child comes into your life. Absolutely. Indeed, um, too many situations sometimes. It's almost impossible to like you know have a universal experience about having a child because there's just so many random ways you can get children. It's uh, it is. It's pretty hysterical. Um, I have the worst <laughs> search history. Let's go ahead and ignore that. Um, I so you guys, you have the worst child. I have oh, the geez. worst child. Let me tell you, um, they're no duck. They're they're uh, they're 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 a sitting duck. Does Ducks that make are simpler, sense? more beautiful creatures. I find. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, what kind of duck are we trying to, to show here? Like a, like a cute baby duck, like a like a like a little tiny. I believe little... both. If you were to show both the baby phase of the duck and also the adult majestic phase of the duck, then I think that would give a good spectrum. Understood. To fully comprehend, because I don't want people that come into the job not understanding the full spectrum of beauty of the duck in its many life stages. Right, you're going to kind of see so, the cycle. So. Like, yeah, it's, it's like, Yes, precisely. It's gorgeous. I like that. Um, and we're thinking like real, right? We're not thinking like cartoon like these, like this one right here. I'm not looking, Rocky. I'm sorry. I just realized or that. I will say a real duck. We want a real yeah. duck. All right. A real duck. I the just, most beautiful of ducks. I, I just found a really cute PNG of three baby ducks. I, 
They're all huddled together, like they're trying to Is keep each other warm. Is it a drawing? Or? No, they're real. They're 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 uh, real. That would do. That's fine as long as you have at least one bigger adult duck, and don't make there be any confusion. Don't make people think that when you fuse three baby ducks, you get one big duck. I don't need more. Wow. confusion about the anatomy of ducks hang on are you telling me that space. that it's kind of a, a it's an assumed myth that pe people have come up to you being like so come on tell me the truth you combine three baby ducks and they become one human one big big adult duck right i wish people would ask me more questions on the street about ducks rocky i do but this is gonna help I will we're say gonna get you someone there. yeah i mean someone told me once that if i was to combine three baby ducks it would make an adult duck. And then when I was younger, one of the kids in the playground told me if I combined three baby ducks, it would make one adult duck. And I wanted an adult duck so badly. And then my mother had to spend hours cleaning the blender um, the next day. The... So, wow. I just think it's important to, yeah. Your relationship with ducks is very complicated. I feel like you're almost trying to make up for something that you did in the past to ducks. Like you're trying to give them, give back to them, it seems, based on that horrifying story you just told me. I don't think so. No? Okay. Um, okay, I, I'm sorry. I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to pry. No, it's fine. Okay, um, I know that our work is going to get very emotional here, but our baby ducks are yeah. in place, and now I'm going to look for an adult That's duck. I do feel safe here with you, Rocky. I will say, my I feel safe. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. I try and yeah. I try and create a safe, creative space here where uh, your imagination can run wild, and nothing can yeah, hurt you within you. it. Oh, the only thing that can hurt you is wow. something that you conjure up within your own imagination that could hurt you, like a big truck or a big knife. Um, so an adult duck, transparent PNG. Wow, there's so many different shades of duck. You got like the green head with the yellow uh, beak thingy. You got, yes. you've got the Aflac-esque uh, duck, uh, who's white and has the yellow beak. Um, actually, that seems to be it. So there's two types of ducks. Uh, do you have a preference? Do you know that duck's feet can't feel cold? They can't feel cold? No, they don't feel cold. They only feel love. Wow. So like, yeah. I wish I could sit like someone's asking me like, are you cold? And you say, no, I'm loved. You mm -hmm. know, like I, I, again, I wish I was like a duck in that, that regard. Uh, yeah, I would love to be, I would like to be loved. Someone um, in my brain says, uh, we could say that our ducks are in a row. Are you a fan of that phrase? Um, no, I believe that it objectifies ducks. Mm, okay. Um, it's a cancelable you, phrase. It's like, why would you, yeah, why would you put ducks? It's 2020, folks. Just and, let the ducks run where they please. Exactly. And when I say folks, I mean the people That's in my head. That's what the police in the background, is it? Absolutely not. You tell no. them that we're on. Okay. No, this is my, um, okay. my, my therapy music. I just kind of like listen okay. to it while I create. That's fine. Kind of no, keep, okay. keeps me calm. In fact, I want to make sure that my music is playing right now. Okay, it is good. Uh, fantastic. So, uh, you like the like the duck with the green head and the yellow bill? I like all ducks, Rocky. Okay. So okay. Just making sure. Time. Just making sure. Fine. Adult duck. Uh, okay. And now, would you like? What would you like the two types of ducks to be doing? Like like next to each other? Like would you like the adult duck kind of like? mothering the baby ducks like hold like over them kind of could you have it that the smaller group of baby ducks is on the bottom and then the larger duck is above with almost perhaps a beam of light behind it much like jesus ascending to the heavens wow okay yeah okay i'm gonna do that i i kind of had that in place actually already minus the light so, okay. now, so now i gotta okay. look for like a heaven light of some sort heaven okay light png um, Don't be mistaken. When I often look at a duck, I see a radiated heavenly light right. just you, behind it as is, but I don't think the Google pictures would capture that. I don't think that the, 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 uh, the pictures have audio, unfortunately, yet. But so, like, do you right. do you hear, like, a, like, when you see a duck? And, like, if, if, if that's the case, do you hear that in the distance and think, like, oh, there's a duck nearby because you're hearing the angel voice? I don't hear anything strange in my head when I see ducks, Rocky. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, great. Just moving on here. Um, shoot, okay, I gotta make this a little transparent. So give me. Do you? Do I hear things when I when I when I see or or I'm in the vicinity of ducks? Um, yeah, just wondering. It's just it's a normal question. I don't probably know. it's it is a very normal question. I'm the weird one here. Yeah. Um, I I'd say I hear like you know like any traditional duck noise like a, whang, and um, potentially like a. Because of their their uh, their their lovely little 
uh, Those small little feet. Feeties. They're they're cute little feet. feet. Yeah, exactly. That do not feel cold. They only feel love. That's an only feel love. Yeah, it's an amazing. Uh, what's your opinion on characters like Donald Duck and Daffy Duck? Do you think that they're? Um... I think they're a strange sexualization of ducks. Interesting. So you do very explicitly sexual characters. Right. Are yeah. they? Would you consider them duck hentai? I don't know why I thought that question up, but I feel like it was it was worth. I don't know what hentai means, but okay. all I know is that Donald Duck and Daffy Duck are very, you you know, I, we know, they're very sexualized characters. Mm -hmm. They're just... Yeah, it's just pornographic. The second I see uh, Donald Duck come up on screen, I'm just thinking, like, my son is supposed to watch this? Right? It's... Like, are you? I can't, I can't, I cannot imagine what they bring to mind when shown to people. I can't imagine the, 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 per, the perverted fucks who thought of a duck with a shirt but no pants. Makes me wonder. Exactly. Makes me and, wonder the curvaceous, and the curvaceous shape. And oh my god. The, the eyes, it's just. Make no mistake, the fact that, that, Don, that Daffy Duck is so dummy thick is not lost on the creators of, of the Disney mm. cartoons. No, they did this it's on not. purpose. They know, they know what they're doing. They you know, know what they're ducks doing. Ducks have three eyelids. Ducks have three eyelids? They have three eyelids. That's it's true. What, what was God thinking? I mean, like, he, he probably was thinking, like, well, I'm trying to make up for lost time and, like, and, and the shitty things that humans make Maybe he up. had a spare pair of eyelids just sitting around. I don't know. Right. That, that makes sense, too. Um, mm -hmm. He's just like, oh, I forgot to give these to the humans. I'll just go ahead and throw these in exactly. here. Exactly. Um, so I'm adding in heaven light here. It's it's taking a little a little extra second. No, um, that's fine. You're doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I do I do appreciate that I can be you know my real self with you, here, Rocky. Because on yeah. stream I'm more like, hi everybody, it's me, Holly, and it's just it's exhausting. It's good to just be one on one with somebody and just be my true self and of express how I, the passion that I have. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm being loud and excessive and exuberant during this conversation. No, I'm no, no. You're, I mean, like, I am definitely feeling like I have to turn myself, like, on right mm -hmm. now because, you're, you know, I feel like we're just collaborating, you know. But you, yeah. you're okay. You're, you're, you're safe. Again, this is a safe, creative Perfect. space. Um, so I have yeah. the heaven light here. Um, the, the duck looks like it is taking care of these little ducks it's really it's really heartwarming yeah. actually is there anything else you'd like to convey on this poster or even just some text um but if you have any Maybe just, i yeah. think if you would just to write please help that should pro that i would imagine that would convey absolutely what i'm needing um, um also papyrus yes but can you make it bolder or a different color or something so it's a little bit separate right so the title is red right now we can make it right. um bright green yes like a christmas sounds... duck yes that's good ducks are for all seasons though please don't adopt a duck and then send it to the pound after right. the holiday season i can't do people do that they're like oh my god it's so cute and our kids are gonna love it and then like well now well, it's, back, it's back to real life we got to get rid of this I, this duck we can't deal with it. i don't know the pa the pounds that i've broken into i have seen some ducks and it has been after christmas so i would assume yes it seems like the perfect gift. I mean, like, you know, as a kid, you want, like, a puppy or a kitty or uh, you want that or do you want an adult-sized duck coming out of a box? Like, exactly. I got three baby ducks for Christmas one year when I was a child and wow. I was thrilled. Yeah, I, I, I would be too. I, I, I imagine, like, hold on, I'm trying to drop shadow. That's what I'm looking for here. Um, oh, yeah. Now that, that is thick. Anyway, yeah, I know if I was a kid and like, you know, uh, my parents are thinking like, well, what, do, what does a kid want? They want an Xbox 360 with a copy of Dead Rising for Christmas. And then like I see the box, I think, oh, great, it's another Xbox 360. All my friends are going to have this. And then I like shake the it's box. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. Whoa. I know, right? It's, it's like, another, oh, yeah. Oh, cool. What? Uh, and I have to do the best acting I could as a child. But then I, I, I shake the box, as you do with any gift that you get. And you just hear a, you hear a, whack. you hear a, mm. you hear that first. Is that, what you hear? Is that what you heard when you shook the box? That's what I wish I heard when I shook the box. Because uh, I heard more of like, but. Oh, God. Right. Is this the same year that you had the blender incident? We don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Um, 
It's okay, of course. No, it's okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Um, so okay. I, I have. Please... I'm hoping this year that my husbands don't give me, you know, the PS5 and like the Xbox, and they'll probably be like, "Oh, Holly, it's like your job to be a streamer," but they don't know what I truly want. It's just more ducks. I'm sorry. You were saying something about the poster. I was just thinking. About no, the no. Ducks well, again. well. Now I want to get get. You know, we're doing uh, graphic design here, but now I want to do relationship design here. Do you think, when do you think the time will be that you should tell your husbands about the ducks? Are you well, embarrassed? Um, are, you, are you ashamed? Are you trying to hide that from I would them? Never, no, I would never be embarrassed. I just, I, I worry that they would feel um, unloved because I do love the ducks more than them. So. That's a dark thing. It's a dark thing you should keep to yourself for sure. I should. I should. Absolutely. Um, I'm trying to bring it to the bedroom, but. Very, it's fine. We're gonna have to talk about it. I was gonna say, yeah, we don't we don't have to yeah. talk about that, but so much potential. Yes. Anyway, so I have please help here in, in big bold green papyrus. Um Perfect. is there any other imagery you'd like to create or any other text that you should that you wanna put like like perhaps in, in maybe in one of the corners in a in a color that almost blends into the rest of the poster, so only a trained eye could see and no police would see if they were to look. Just Toronto Park. Which is that is where Gotcha. I, so it's only going to be for the people who truly want the job. Yes, they really have to look and like stare. Of course. Um, yeah. We'll make this very, very small. Uh, Toronto a Park. And it's going to blend in, so I'm going to make it an, a, a, a faded blue of some sort. Okay. Even ducks can fly as high as airplanes. Is that true? I feel like I've heard stories about ducks getting caught in like in like plane turbines and stuff like that. What? I'm sorry. We plant it up in a turbine. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I I, I heard a, a dark story one time. It was a scary story because of Halloween. Um, and uh, it's not real, right? Of course not. It's just it's just a it's just a story. Okay, it, yeah. I can't have that again. Okay. Of course. Um, right. No, story. they can fly that high though. They're very smart. And I they, think. And they fly in like big families, right? Is that is that the they case? They do. That's, I, be I believe they do. And yes. they make like cool like V formations and they all like fly together. That's I think that's really neat. Um, I think if we were to open the line of communication, they would be excellent entertainment at air shows. And I think it's 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 one of the primary examples of the government failure in this country that we haven't opened communication to the ducks for the air show entertainment. Yeah, I so mean, cool. first of all, air shows a forgotten. Um, platform for for art and artists of course um i feel like we just see it so rarely for example when uh covid first started uh the government felt it was great to salute all the um all the uh, all the uh the workers like the uh, what's the what's the term that we're, we're using for people who work at like grocery stores and hospitals and everything like that essential services essential services yes i and consider myself an essential service also of course this thing has got to stay open through covid it has to um of course. it's gonna what else are people gonna do um, but in order to salute essential workers, um, I remember that they had the military fly planes overhead to salute them. And I feel like if it was... Did they give the workers a raise or anything? Or was no, 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 no. It was mainly to show them the planes. Oh. Um, I'm sure okay. that right. they, they probably could have used the money that went into fueling the planes for that flight. Mm to the workers mm -hmm. but it was still like you know it was like something's off here uh, clearly something should be right. flying in the air and it's a great salute to all the essential workers but i don't know if it's planes or not but if everyone left the hospital was 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 wheeled out of the hospitals and of uh, uh, the grocery stores and they like looked up in the sky and saw families upon families of ducks just all in formation flying overhead i feel like we would have had a real come together moment like wars would be over you know? i think so as well and i i make sure to practice covid safety measures when i'm out doing my business i wear a mask and the social distancing aspect of keeping people six feet away from me isn't very difficult because of course I, everyone just seems to be very good and they just stay six feet away from me at least yeah i guess that is very good about covid yeah it's it's it, that's definitely um a benefit um, mm -hmm. I got one more pitch for you. Uh, otherwise, it's, yeah. it's looking pretty good uh, and inconspicuous Perfect. to the point where it's like right. a beautiful poster of a duck. But if someone really wanted to work with these ducks on the posters, they know where to look. It's in the bottom left right. corner of Toronto Thank Park. Yeah. But of course. a part of my brain was just pitching duck saddle. So perhaps someone's riding the duck. Do you find this d d demeaning? 
that's incredibly demeaning. Like, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. You're off that as a joke. <laughs> it was it was a big goof, <laughs> and and part of my brain is going to get punished for it. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. That is a funny joke. That is quite funny. Um, big goof. <laughs> that is a funny goof. <laughs> uh, I know. Well, is there anything else you can think of that you'd want to, to portray to, to the world? On, no, in your case? I don't no? think so. I, I mean, no, it sounds, it sounds good. I'm well, sure the poster itself will look fantastic and well worth the $1,000 that I've sent to you. Absolutely. Do you want to see it right now in the middle of our call? Or you yes. Just, okay, great. No, I think, I think now would be good. Great. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, quick export this for my own purposes as well. Um, okay. I'm very good at Photoshop. Uh, mm. Let's see here. This is Morgan. Oh, uh, great. Okay, so can you? I I just turned on the screen share. Are you able to see? Let me have a look. Oh, um, on. no. And you're not. No. Shall I just look? Is there anywhere else that I would be able to? This is a private call, so I presume there's no one else that I can. I'm see. gonna go ahead and send it to you over Discord Z Zoom. Perfect. And thank, thank um, you. yes, and this should be a way that you'll be able to see it. Great, um, that's great. And I just sent it. It's processing, and it's been uploaded. Please let me that's know if you think. That's that's beautiful, Rocky. Oh, Harley! Oh, please don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I know it feels. <laughs> All three of them. They're so whole and. This is a family. That's a family right there. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. They're so happy. So. It, if, if I was unemployed and I needed, you know, like some sort of uh, existential encouragement to keep on going on mm -hmm. and to not jump in front of the closest bus that's zooming past on the street. Uh, if I saw mm -hmm. this, I would I would crumble to my knees and I would thank whatever force is out there in the world for giving me a purpose to live. I like how there's a couple on a boat behind the ducks. Do you think maybe they're the ducks' parents? I think the ducks' mm -hmm. parents are in the boat. Um, and like the poster is essentially not, saying, not. you could be in that boat with the giant duck and the baby yeah. ducks. You too yeah. could do that. Yeah, they're so big. A good couple of cities. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is, okay, that's beautiful. I'm so glad I could bring this to life for you. Um, my brain wants to, the part of my brain that's like very um, organized and wants to keep like a mm -hmm. Rolodex in my head, wants to know where I can mm -hmm. find more of your stuff and where I could watch you if I wanted to see oh, you doing your thing. that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so would you like me to, um, all right, just so your Rolodex brain remembers, I'm just going to put on the, the, the very fake persona of mine. Absolutely, please. Wait, I usually, okay. We're just, we're playing <laughs> pretend. We're playing pretend. Right, give me, yeah, excuse me a second. Just... <clears throat> okay. Hi, I'm Holly. Um, if you want to find me in other places, it's twitter.com forward slash burwitchery or twitch.tv forward slash burwitchery or Instagram forward slash burwitchery. And um, I will be streaming later this week playing some Ari in the Blind Forest. And I'm also on twitch.tv forward slash Fable Hunters every Sunday at 1 p.m. PST playing uh, a 90s high school girl who's really mean. That's all. Hell yeah. That's okay, amazing. Okay, sorry, that was very exhausting for me. Um, wow, I, yeah, I know. You just, like, you disappeared. It was kind of like watching yeah. Sasha Baron Cohen become Borat or yeah. Mike Myers become Shrek um, or something. I don't even remember what I said. You blacked out? You. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You're, I feel it's like, fine. Is your nose bleeding or am I? is my camera just bad? It seems like... You okay? No, that's, that's, that's just mucus. That's fine. Okay, great. Good. Just, just right. making sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Harley, for trusting me in, uh, in, in giving me all this very personal information to create. Something beautiful, in my opinion. Thank you for having me keeping all of my, my beloved's secret and dear. Not exposing me in any way. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you have a good night. God bless you. You as well. And quack, quack. Quack, quack. Heavy, 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 heavy stuff, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, Thumb Spasm? Great name. Uh, pleased to have you. That was very emotional. Yes, indeed. Um, I'm, I'm wiping my tear. Uh, everyone here from uh, Brad Witchery should follow. Everything Now Show. Sure, why not? Yeah, we're cool. We're hip. Um, we are a interactive improv comedy show. That's, that goes every Wednesday and Sunday, and now Mondays with this show going on. 
but uh, yeah, lots of fun stuff that we do. In fact, I might just go ahead and show the teaser here uh, so I can queue up the next guests for the show. But thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying Rocky Sucks at Photoshop. I'd say I did a pretty decent job there. I felt very minimalist uh, every time I'm on the show. Oh, excited for Harley. I'm sorry to be on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> I will say, um, I've been trying to figure out if the show should be with characters or just, like, creatives and cre uh, comedians and all that stuff, like, kind of, like, you know, just being themselves. So I was very pleased, actually, for how that turned out. It was a good mixture of the two. It's a, it was a sweet spot. Uh, so so thank you, Harley. Don't worry about <laughs> if you uh, went any, anywhere unnecessary. I thought it was wonderful. But I'm going to go ahead and try and find our trailer here promotional arcade trailer i'm very proud of this trailer um we paid a guy on <laughs> on fiverr i think to do the voiceover uh no video new music wow this is completely and utterly disorganized i cannot believe how disorganized this is but let's go ahead and suck back to this over here um hi hello friends up next we have some very wonderful comedians, part of Hell Trap Nightmare, the amazing and <laughs> ridiculous uh, comedy outfit from Chicago, now in Los Angeles. We have the Shrimp Boys coming up soon. But first, a moment from our sponsors. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe this is so hard to find. Um, trailer audio, too. How about date modified? Yeah, that's the best way to do it. That's the best way to do it. That's the ticket. It's not the ticket. I can't find it. Uh, it's kind of here somewhere. Uh, oh, here it is. New music final. It's everything now. An interactive comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to pick dialogue or make choices. You can pay to play sound effects that have in-show ramifications. Road end in 100 feet. What the f***? Submit images over Twitter and Discord for us to use. Or just hop in the chat and suggest what you think we should do. It's your show too, friend. Every episode is its own sandbox to play in. There's never a dull moment. Hop on in and experience everything now. Oh, a hoot and a half, that one, if I say so myself. Um, I'm officially trailer sexual. Thank you for coming out, ENS Alex, whoever you are. I'm going to go ahead and get our next guests in a call right now, if they're okay with that, if they're watching. Um. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see. How you doing, folks? Oh, man, they, they seem very distressed in, in, the, in the chat right now. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry to throw this on you guys real quick. Oh, God. Here it comes. It's happening. Oh. Oh, hey, hello? Hello. Hey, whoa, hello? 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 What's going on? You guys hear me? Hey. Yo, are we up? Can we, hmm, can you all hear, can you hear all three shrimp boys? Let's sound off. Wyatt, uh, sound check. I'm, I'm Wyatt, I'm here. Great. Hello, hello. yes, hello. Uh, David, can you say hello? Hello, David Brown, 5'7", and uh, all right, ready. Enough, enough of this. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're not going to be, do, we're not doing any of that. You missed that yesterday. And uh, finally, uh, is it is it is it Luke? Yeah, that's, it's Luke. That's Sh correct. Shit, cool. All right, well, and perhaps, hopefully not a misjudgment, but like I got all three of you guys just kind of, you know, to talk over each other. Um, hopefully this will not be too chaotic I don't or anything. Know what, you, what are you, you know, okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, but thank you so much for being here on, on Rocky Sucks at Photoshop. I'm excited to provide my services to whatever your creative wild brains think up next. <laughs> I watch your, I watch your sketches and I just, I just go, what? Yeah, we have a couple screws loose. Maybe more than, more than two. That's a shame. Are you going to get that checked out eventually? Or is that just going to be kind of like the way you live? 
I think this is just the way I am now. Hmm. I'm, uh, well, I'm sort of a I'm sort of a busted robot, and that's kind of a new character I've been working on. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Very cool. Like uh, a busted robot here. Whoa, 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 oh. oh gosh! Oh no! Oh. What, is this him? He doesn't make robot sounds. He just he. Oh. he goes, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's reacting to being busted. Yeah, he's just kind of perpetually oh, oh, in turmoil. Oh, oh, gosh, I got to get my chest plate fixed. Oh, gosh, whoa. Wow, his chest plate? plate? His chest plate, he's a robot. He's got a chest plate. I thought you said you know. chest, like the game. Like his no. chest plate. Why, what does he look like? Are you th is he like classic or is he more android human hybrid? Android human hybrid, I think. Like I think cyborg? Have... But he yeah. has a chest plate. Uh, oh, yeah. What's yeah. human? What's robotic? He's wearing, he's, wearing a, he's wearing armor, Luke. Sorry, I forgot to clarify. Oh, that's shit. A, that's, Thank you. That's the chest plate that I was referring to. Huh, okay. So, is he for defense? Uh, defense, offense, and everything in the middle, sort of. But, but then he's whining like you're, that? You're asking me about this character, like, you know, why don't you just... I sent you, I sent you the mock-up. I sent you the sketches that I drew of him. You Ooh. could have looked at it. And you would have known more about the character. Yeah, now you're asking the questions. I, it kind of shows that you it. didn't look. I, don't I tend have, to believe I don't... that comedy should mock up rather than mock down. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's 2020. Yeah, we should all... They go low. <sighs> we mock up. Um, so, um, Wyatt, Luke, and David, what, what am I making for you today? I've had the image of a cube in my head all day. I, I thought we could okay. start with that. Sure, I'm just gonna. I've been sending Luke images of a cube all day in the hopes that you would pick that. Gotcha. So we're just gonna That's go ahead. That's why I'm thinking of it. You guys yeah. didn't send me any pictures of a cube. Ooh. I sent you a different image in your head. Okay. I, I, you sent me. A, you were sending Luke images from your head. Yes. Wow. Hey, I'm living. This cube's living rent free inside my head. You know. What like I mean? tell it. Like tell it to um, yeah, I guess so. When did I you learn like to, how to? When did you learn how to do that? I've been reading a lot during the. You know, we've had a lot of downtime lately. Oh my god, yeah, there's like TV and books to read. Uh, a lot that could probably teach you about telekinesis. Yeah, check, check, and then you can the learn that from a book. I thought it was you have to collect an old rune or something. Mm. With both, you have to be naturally uh, uh, curious to do it. Right. Why? Okay. I feel like that's because you've been playing a lot of Witcher Three, huh? Ooh. Yeah, that, that's why I reference Rune really easily. Rune rolled off the tongue pretty quickly. <laughs> it's a great word. It's just, it, it really like uh, like an ankh, like one of those like weird yeah. symbols. Uh, I, I I saw that word in World of Warcraft for the first time, and I I thought wow. it was ridiculous. I had I what had zone? Good enough. Uh, I was in. Oh god, are you talking servers? I was in. No, no, no. I mean, like, what leveling zone was the ankh? Oh, it was in a um, alchemy shop in Stormwind. Just something simple. Sure. I, I was, I was, I was dancing around the uh, the old auction house, you know, and just kind of looking sure. for fun things to do because I was too nervous to talk to anybody, and I was instead doing funny <laughs> stuff of like, here's one yeah. copper, and then like dancing in front of them, you know, thinking that, that was a personality, right? But the uh, first time I I did a raid in World of Warcraft, I, I, another like fourteen year old yelled at me, and I cried. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. That's yeah. uh, that's pretty much uh, similar. Well, you experience. should have, you could have done it right, Luke. Yeah, did you well, take a note? It was well. It was my first time doing that raid in Naxxramas, and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and he yelled at me. So they actually he, helped you to improve, right? Uh, I don't. I guess know it depends on what you how you think I learned the best. You wouldn't be a successful comedian like you are now if you didn't get bullied like that. I don't think it's true. You, yeah, that, <laughs> in a way. <laughs> Yeah, that's what made you the guy you are today. Yeah. Here's to the bullies, the, the level 14 rogues who absolutely owned my ass outside of VC. <laughs> For without them, I wouldn't be the, you know, uh, what kind of comedian, like, do you want to be? Like, or, like, what, what, how do you consider yourself as a comedian? Are you, like, a, what are you, like, a Richard Pryor? <laughs> or are you, like, a... <laughs> Usually when I think about what kind of comedian yeah. I'm thinking, I'm a Richard Pryor type. I don't know why they came I'm going to send Valentine's to all of my haters. Yeah, see? That's, that's, that's exactly the kind of attitude you can have up on the pedestal. Is that a, is that a, is that a Pryor line? Or is no, that just irrelevant? It doesn't I, feel like something that Richard Pryor would have said, but maybe. He uh, could not do that kind of stuff today he was doing. You know no, what I mean? Well, especially if you look like, they can't see us, but, you know. 
<laughs> they can see us in the corner of the street. I don't yeah, think there any you of those go. Guys are doing oh, the that's, that's For the that's record, true. I'm the one who threw prior out there, so you're all safe, I think. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, no, no, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Good start, good start. I just forgetting where we are today. Mm, of course. That I would send Valentine's to my haters for, uh, you know. Yeah. Is that, a, is that a lyric, or that's just something that you wish you did? No, it's something I'm planning on doing this year is getting Valentine's to send all of my haters. Right. Them, I would <laughs> yeah, you keep saying that, man. Like, that's something I should be re I should be re <laughs> like, I should have a knowledge of, but you're just. You're we were just talking like, about it earlier. When? <laughs> like two minutes ago. But what does it mean? I was saying, that, like, the, the guy. You're that literally going to. Where he is today. Right. I. <laughs> I understand the process of set, of getting putting you know chocolate in the mail and sending it to your haters or doing the little box, mm -hmm. but I you're speaking about this, David, like it's a common idiom that we should know about, and I don't know. And I was like, is it a is it a reference to a song or something? Valentine's to my haters. Yeah, who's the first person who said like I'll send Valentine's to my haters? Is it David? It might it might have been me. <laughs> oh shit! Right now, clip that, please, someone. <laughs> Uh, it'll, it'll be on Know Your Meme tomorrow, and then it'll like just link to this clip. Um, all right, so we got a cube. Yeah. I like uh, this. I like it because it just screams like it's like potential, you know? Like right, it's yeah. just it's like uh, like anything could be inside this box, you know? Um, so yeah, a a what else is is on the mind, folks? Are we just kind of are we free creating here, creating a collage of like the Shrimp Boys? Yeah, ethos and um, you know, like uh, the the voice of the Shrimp Boys, or do we have something else more specific in mind? Well, we sort of covered the voice of the Shrimp Boys by having a blank cube. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm, indeed, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Do you guys think the the first person that like came up with drawing a cube like a three D and two D shape was that like amazing to people? Well, then it went in different directions, and like they were like, "Oh shit!" To grab the clay tablet <laughs> because they thought it was a shit. Yeah. yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, I mean, making the triangle—that's pretty easy. You see that sort of naturally in arrowheads and you know trees. Like, right. That's triangle. The dollar, but then this. Mm -hmm. A cube is its own sort of. That's man-created cube. Yeah. Or or woman, you know, when they say man, they should. They, they mean both, you know? Human. Yeah. Indeed, we yes. Eat the money. And uh, Mitch Anderson yeah, has just yeah. tipped us six dollars and ninety cents. Thank you so much, Thank Mitch. You. Thank you, Mitch. And do you oh, know, I, it's like I think the real uh, the real trick would be the sphere because you draw just a regular circle and then you just add a little shading and suddenly it's three dimensions. It's fascinating how little you have to do for it to become something really big, and you can kind of equate yeah. that to your haters hating on you and then you becoming big as a result of that. You know, it's like yeah. they're just adding a little shading to your to your circle, and then you become a sphere. And you can probably say that on a TikTok, and people would be like really amused and like inspired by that. I don't know. I'm just I'm sending cubes to all my haters this year. Right? Me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe send them sugar cubes, David. If your mm. if your haters are, if your haters so, are horses, because that hater rate is so sweet. That's, yeah. Okay, and my and my alt to that is because they're gonna be sipping that tea, you know. And you exactly. Yeah. There you go. God. Yeah. Um, sweet tea. The best. Um, what else would you want with a, a chicken sandwich? I don't know why I thought that. Anyway, we got oh, this yeah. cube. Um. Uh, Maybe unfortunately flame. to me, like I don't, I don't feel comfortable adding anything else because to me, I'm like that's perfect as is. It's it's minimal, you know. It, it, uh, the thing is that the cube is transparent, so theoretically, you can just like throw this onto like I don't know, maybe like Twitter or Instagram, and theoretically, it'll just take the color of that app, you know, and just be like this like cool 3D looking cube. Um, I don't. Beautiful. Yeah, right. It's it's a cool design thing. It's like when people make art out of their Instagram, like you know, timeline or whatever. Like they they make collages with multiple photos and stuff. Or it's Twitter like man. Yeah, it's like a Twitter yeah, man. Oh, oh like the four pictures. Yeah. Does either any of you guys have any ideas for the Pope meme that you haven't done yet? This could be. Yeah, I can absolutely make you guys the the Pope Twitter meme. Uh, no problem. Oh, with the with the cube. He could be holding the cube. Would that be yeah, funny, that could, or is that thought provoking? It would be. Uh, I mean, some things can be both. Very true. Uh, you, you ideally want both, but uh, is is that what you guys want out of your 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 creative output? 
Do yeah. You, do you want to make people like yes. really think? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sound yes is all around. I'm, I'm glad yes. to hear that. Yeah. I can. Remember when Trump was touching that sphere? We need to go back to that. We. Oh, I just want to look that photo up. It's really. It's really something to behold. It. He loved that. He yeah. Couldn't believe it. That is like his best moment ever, probably. Trump sphere. Oh, I know it's sort of a classic, but I really like that he was walking down that ramp like that. <laughs> I never <laughs> seen a guy walk like that. Before. It's it's a lot of interacting with shapes. It's the you know. Mm. It's the, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah. The Oval Trump. Office. What if the Pope was there too? I mean, imagine you know, what, the squared circle. The, what's up with the soccer ball? Putin gave him a soccer ball. U.S. kicks around. Uh, hold on, what is this? Why? Putin Let's soccer ball. Read, Let's Trump. read the article. <laughs> All right, we're reading business inside. Let's all quietly read the article for a second, and in about one minute, we'll wrap back around and discuss what we read. Okay, what? folks? Well, There's a help. transmitter chip inside. Yo, Rocky, I'm gonna need you but, to subscribe. Rocky, let's look at using ad blocker. You gotta get rid of that. Ads are good. Ads are good. I know. I I, 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 I let them just come my way, and I I download all this stuff. You know. Uh, MacKeeper, all that stuff. I put it all in the computer. <laughs> sure, yeah. It's like a family of, of apps. <laughs> oh, yeah. Baron's going to like that. No way, man. Nah, dude. What's Baron up to right now? He's gaming. Yeah, I was thinking yeah, the exact same TikTok thing. TikTok girls. Yeah. yeah. What a tall king like him would do. Who is he gaming with? Who is TikTok. Baron gaming with? Okay, I guess TikTok girls, yeah. But like, who are like, the celebrities that he gets to hang out with? Whose Wait, son is he also hanging out with? I yeah, like exactly. talked about the fact that he got COVID. Baron also got yeah. COVID? He did, yeah. yeah. God he's damn. The, he's, the, he's the tallest person ever get COVID. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Congratulations yeah. to them. Jeez. Him and Yao Ming. They thought right. they couldn't reach that high before. Did Yao Ming get COVID? I don't know. Oh, no. no he's really, he is tall, for sure. Yeah, no, man, no one can deny that. Did Yao Ming get a were... ring? No. Did Yao Ming get COVID? Uh, no, but he donated blood to help fight COVID. Here, Rocky, I'm going to send you another article. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that is nice that he did that without the antibodies. It's sort of like, well, you know, thanks. It's sort of, you know, oh, wow. apples the, and- Yeah, exactly. The article that you sent me was the one I had pulled up, so it just kind of oh. opened up again. But I oh, okay, that's cool, perfect, cool. yeah. Rocky, is there any way you could zoom in on that character sort of by Yao uh, to his left? His left, left the little, right. The little, no. the, the Doramon. That guy, yeah. The Doramon? Little, um, little yellow, uh, green, uh, blue uh, guy. No. This guy. Oh, I don't know. That's Doramon's friend, I guess. Huh. Doramon Are you talking about the Kleenex box? Is that Doramon, Luke? Oh, Yami's left. Sorry, guy. Side, yeah. Oh, Doramon. yeah. The blue guy I like. What's he from? He's like a Japanese, like, kid's book. Like in manga, he's like very popular for Japanese children. Cool. I don't really know what his deal is. He has like he's a cute. propeller hat kind yeah. of thing going on. He's like a cat. Yeah, I think so. Or an otter, maybe. Um, I have a question what, what from. Oh, the... yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. I think. Uh, all right, we'll we'll go at the same time. Um, okay. uh, Aiden Wood is asking, what do you why are the, the shrimp boys called the shrimp boys? <laughs> Why are we called the Shrimp Boys? Yeah. And also, if you could answer, what do you think the propeller cap symbolizes? Good question. Um, well, I was thinking recently about, like, the, the child hat that everyone kind of uses in media, like the rainbow-colored hat with the propeller on it. Sure. So I feel like maybe it's just, like, a symbol like a symbol of, like, I don't know. Child. Uh, I'm a kid. You, youthful power of, like, you could do anything. You could fly, practically, you know? They should they should give him the, lo- the lollipop, you know, also for kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the little sailor outfit. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. These are all childhood symbols. They should put Doraemon in one of those. Wait, why are we called the Shrimp Boys? Well, I guess we won. Well, we one time did a sketch where we drank a bunch of uh, uh, blended and frozen shrimp on stage Oof. live in front of everybody. Oof. That was that sort of, but that wasn't. That was sort of solidified the vibe. Mm-hmm. And I, I see that there's something about uh, uh, definitely not a vegan shrimp. David actually is a vegan, and he had some vegan shrimps. Maybe. It was imitation. Uh, imitation. Imitation shrimp. shrimp. Wow. Yeah. But I, I think, don't think it was classic imitation shrimp, which I think is also meat. I think it was some sort of uh, sand or clay or something. <laughs> it has to be right at that point. I don't know what else you could do there. I'm fascinated. It certainly became like that. Right. 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 Um, David, can I ask you a question about being a vegan? Yeah. Go ahead. If okay, let's say I don't know if they like have to do this, but let's say like 
you had a disease and you had to get like monkey blood or something. Sure. <laughs> like, uh-huh. like, like that was the uh-huh. kind of blood that would uh-huh. help you. Or cow blood. Would that be okay? To help. Um, what What's the disease? Uh, uh, uh like hepatitis. Where my monkey or levels are low. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's just say, like. The cure is in this monkey blood, and you have to get it transfused. They've noticed be I've been doing less monkey business, and they're seeing that my monkey levels sure, are low. Sure, sure, sure. So um, uh, well, it depends. Is it is it sort of a seven pound situation? But in this case, it's like a monkey that uh, died and gave uh, like all of his uh, blood to uh, people who <laughs> had issues related to the sin of texting while driving. Like, is it a dead monkey or an alive monkey? Is it is it a monkey that get, like knew that its blood was going to be used for this purpose before it uh, passed away? I, I mean, I don't think it could have known. Is I guess that's sort of the question, right? Is like, I is think that, that a, I think that in this case, then that I would have to, uh, I'd have to pass and go you with the die. cow blood. Was the well, cow blood You're was dead. the other option? Let, yeah, yeah. I'll go with the cow blood instead. Well, it wasn't an either or. It was sort of like, would you be willing to have animal blood in you? Well, you didn't say that. I think, well, okay. Is this a cube, Rocky? I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna add to the cube. I was just gonna kind of start. I don't know. I was riffing a little bit. No, 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 no. Go back. No, I didn't want to stop your creative process. Okay, no, no. I just want to make sure you're okay with me just kind of adding to this. Yeah, you, I mean, this oh no, thing, please, please. This whole thing that you suck at Photoshop. I thought you did a pretty nice job with the mallard. So I don't maybe. Know. Thank you. Maybe he could be ha- using the cube as a basketball for one of his That tricks. is really good. I wonder if I can cut out the cube. I might need a filled-in cube. I can't do, like, a transparent one. But should he be, like, holding a... Is there, like, a certain cu- type of cube that you guys would want? Like, a Rubik cube? Or should I just make a, like, just get a random filled-in cube? I think, like, a cubicle, I guess. Like, an office. A cubicle. I like that. Also, did you guys know yeah. that Yaming was this meme face? I did not know that. I didn't know, that I know that until yes. I was looking it up. Yeah. It's crazy that that if you search Yao Ming though, that's what you get. I really had no idea. He's so much more than that though. You know, we 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 love Yao. Um, wow, this is a this is a great cube. You guys, here. Rocky, you're from, you're from Orange County, aren't you? I am from Orange County. Yeah, are you from Orange County? Because you have a yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm from Orange County. Great. You know the dis- you know the Discovery Cube. That's a pretty great cube. I drove so by it constantly in in college. Yeah. yeah. Constantly, yeah. every day, I made sure I dro- drove by it before I went to class. <laughs> it was kind of hard. <laughs> just a, little, a single tear went down your cheek. I, 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 I went to went, discover today. I went to the I went to the cube one time and I lay down on a bed of nails. Yeah, the bed of nails. Absolutely, I remember I, that being I, such I, a like. I was so scared to lay down on it, but other people were doing it that I had to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It was gnarly shit. But um, sounds like fun. It is. Have you, guys, have you ever been on a bed of nails, Luke? No, and I never will. Fuck. Why not? I have. Oh, cool. So when did you do it? When did you do it, David? Were you there's in a dungeon? A, a, I imagine similar to the what was it, the Discovery Cube? Yeah. There's the um, there's the Discovery Center in Boise, Idaho. Mm-hmm. Not uh, known for having a particular shape, but known for um, shaping up the minds of the kids that went to it. Naturally. Um, yeah. So I did that there. Like this. We had something like this called like. Port something. Port Discovery or some shit. Port Science. Port Discovery, yeah. The Children's Museum in, in Baltimore, Maryland. Very cool. Yeah, I think I, I yeah, I, I would love to go to a children's science museum again because they just lay it, you know, lay it on easy. Make it simple to learn about the wonders of the world. Nothing too Amen. complicated. Uh, this ball is gone. Get, get that ball out of there. Here we go. This cubicle is big. Yeah. Um, wow, this is... <laughs> okay, I don't think this is going well. Um, <laughs> uh, no, no, I think it's, it's looking good. Great. To be honest, I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the shape of it on my phone, and the issue is that I don't know how to make the app stop saying everything now show at the bottom so I can see the full uh, canvas. Yeah, of course. And then when I, when I swipe down, then I can't see, the, I can't see it at all. And I know I'm sounding like a sort of a Luddite, not someone who went to a Discovery Center of any kind. It's but, true, yeah. It seems like none of that was retained at all. But no, I, I, we'll, we'll figure it out, uh, hopefully, eventually. Um, okay, I think I think I did this. Are we? Do we like this? Yes. Yes. 
What? Yeah, definitely, I like it. What is it? What is it? What? Yeah, I mean, like, I guess you can just, like, you know, I could just send you this PNG, like, after the show, and you guys can just kind of, like, you know, stare at it, but, like, yeah. What does it, what does it mean? You think it's an art piece? Do you, would you guys consider this an art piece? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. It's one of can those, like, who's the, who's the artist who has the painting that you, you can reproduce it by, you know, it has, like, the printer specifications on it? Oh, wow. I don't know about that. That sounds pretty cool. Is that like Banksy? Someone's no. going to someone's gonna tear me to shreds and then mention Sarah or hey, someone's hey, a history degree. Or hey, hey, in the comments, hit, me, hit us up. Who's, who, what's, the pic, what's the painting you can print out? You definitely can't print out the freaking scream. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you it's wish, too big. Yeah, you not? wish you could, yeah. It's too big. You need yeah. one of those 3D printers. Yeah, too big. one of the big ones. Could you maybe replace the cube with the gateway logo? The cube over here in the corner, or like the okay, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, the one in the corner with the gateway cube. Do you know what I'm talking about? Gateway cube, I kind of forget. Oh, sure, yeah, okay. Do you want the whole thing or just the cube? Um, uh, I'll take the yeah, I like that. That's a good transparent, cool, yeah, I know, right? I'm like lucky that we got this <laughs> asset. Sometimes you just you're, you're feeling lucky, that's what the Google, uh, that's what the yeah. Google thing's for. Uh, so bye bye three D cube that we were so emotionally attached to earlier on. Bye bye game. cube. So bye uh, bye cube. Was that the robot that malfunctions? <laughs> you should get Oof, we, Oof. Should, we should get Trump saying on a damn cube. See what he does with that. Dang. Or one or one of those like exercise things where you have to balance. That'd be funny as shit. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like the little the little like roller things? Yeah, you know, where it's like a hat, it's like a half circle and you gotta balance around. Yeah. Okay, Rocky, well, I oh, okay. my issue was, it was, it was paused and now I can see it. We've oh, got the logo. okay, yeah, now yeah, we're all caught up. Beautiful. I understand, okay, yes. Good, I'm glad that you like it. Um, are, you guys, are you guys muted on Twitch? That's what you guys are doing, right? Yeah, I'm just watching the, I'm, I got Twitch the sound off. Yeah, me too. Gotcha. I was just checking in. <laughs> cool. No, nah, man, Luke's watching Hassan right now while we're talking. <laughs> Is Hassan on? Pro probably I, I don't know he seems like he, he streams constantly for sure I gotta go <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's, he's he's doing among us with AOC right now probably so you, you need to check that out that's the thing that's gonna happen I think yeah is it actually I, I, I as much as far as I know I, that's that's we what gotta I get heard. AOC to do a speed run of Witcher 3 that's that's what's up yeah Rocky does everything now have Valorant drops enabled don't even know what you just said. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Val Val for the game Valorant, do you have drops enabled so we can get Valorant codes? Right, I've seen <laughs> I've seen that. I, I, I bet we do, but we have yet to stream Valorant. So what? Sure. Is, what is Valorant? Is it? A, are, is, what is it? It's like uh, it's like kind of like Counter Strike, but with classes. So like Counter Strike, oh. which is Team Fortress Two. Okay, cool. Yeah. Can we get Valorant in there? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna type yeah. in Valorant. Let's see what happens. Is Valorant a character or just sort of a state of being? I think it's the name of the game. I actually, I, I, I am kind of, kind of talking about the seat of my pants here. I don't really know that much about the game. You though. just knew about the drops that they were like so but, touting and being yeah. like, "Hey guys, you can get your Twitch uh, connective drop thing for Valorant." Yeah, yes, yes. David, did you cast that one? Uh, talking by the seat of his pants, he said. It was really good. You can say that. Talking oh. out of your keister, practically, is yeah. what you're saying. Doo doo ass. Yeah. No, don't. Can you say doo doo ass on the stream? Guys, well, we're gonna get. <laughs> you're, you're, gonna, not to. you're gonna tank our channel, Luke, with that kind of language. I, oh. I got, I got busted the first time I did everything now. <laughs> First sketch we did, I took off my shirt immediately, and remember, Ronnie was like, no! I was like, nipples, nipples, nipples. No, I think you can show male nipples now at this point. I think. We, we, we've grown up enough. I know, right? First things first. Um, but maybe yeah, now, maybe now Matthew McConaughey can have a streaming show. Huh? Finally. All, all right, all right, all right. I'm happy. You showed like fool's gold on Twitch. <laughs> he showed his nipples a lot. I don't understand. That. He never wears a shirt. He's he wears a shirt. He's talking about. I like that you didn't get what that was initially, gold. though. And again, with the fool's gold reference, yes, sure. Bud. Um, Thank you. And <laughs> we're gonna. I'm gonna hang up this call on Mud. <laughs> Finally, we can stream Mud with, with no questions asked. <laughs> I, 
I had to make a cut of mud without the nipples, and it was about 23 <laughs> minutes long. <laughs> Sucks shit, you had no idea what was happening in that town. The plot barely worked. It was just Ty Sheridan's Mark stupid little face. <laughs> just looking, kid. Yeah. That, Ty Sheridan, man. That's a name. Ty hey, Sheridan, really. Why don't you get Ty in there, huh? Yeah, okay, I'll get Ty in here. You can get, like... Wow, that's what he looks like now? Jeez. Um, Yo, do you guys ever feel like Ty Sheridan blew a 5-0 lead to Finn Wolfhard? 100%. 1,000%. Especially because that, he he had, like, the indie... This kid. Yeah, he was, like... He was in Tree of Life. He was in other was cool just... indie stuff. He's Yeah, he's, like... He's one of the kids in Tree of Life, yeah. And then Finn Wolfhard and everyone from Stranger Things just kind of came in and ate yeah. his lunch. But kind of like oh, Michael no. Sarah, I'll, I'll watch him do weird indie movies that are maybe bad. Um, but, I mean, yeah. he seems like a capable actor. I don't know. Yeah, he was just in a little movie called Ready Player One, I guess. No one gives oh, a sorry. About that. God. He was right. also Cyclops in the <laughs> X-Men reboots. Yeah, <laughs> guys, but sure, Ty Sheridan's sure doing bad. Just in Ready Player One that came out two years ago. That was ago. two years ago. I watched Ready Player One on Movie Pass. That's how I know it was two years ago. Yeah. True, yeah. true. I also did that. What about Thanks. Ezra Miller? Can we get a PNG of him as well? In right, so, the Movie Pass uh, logo? I and, love Ezra. Okay, so Ty Sheridan, PNG, transparent. Um, I think I Google constantly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ah, I love that. It's just his head. This pre made, oh, ready for us really? to use. Looking so is, sad. Is he young Cyclops? He's young Cyclops in the third X Men movie, in like the. Like the Days of Future Past, First Class kind of trilogy or whatever. He's in all all of those. He's right? in all. I think he's in the last one, Apocalypse, which I didn't see. But he's I, also in Days of Future Past and First Class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking now. First Class. Oh yeah, guys, he's doing That's so rude. terrible. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, I think egg on our faces, fellas. Yeah. I mean, um, he's doing he's doing great as far as you know. Sure, like an actor yeah, in Hollywood could be. be. Ezra yeah, I didn't. Angel. I didn't even. I didn't even mean to dunk on him. I mean, he's good. Wow, we got. I think we can get this cube in some movies. I think any actor he's is in good. a couple. The cube. Cube, hyper cube. cube oh cube. yeah, he's got his own franchise. Yeah, absolutely. Someone mentioned earlier, and they said, "Is anyone else thinking about the movie Cube? Whoever that was, I know that Luke and David are both big fans of the Cube franchise. Oh, I love those movies. I, I missed out. I didn't see the Cube. Franchise. I didn't either. But they're like weird Gonzo horror movies, kind of right, like yeah. sci-fi horror. And I think the thing that no one mentions about Cube is that it's it's maybe the most Canadian film I've ever seen. <laughs> I love to hear that. I don't. I can't. I need to like watch and see what that means. But I just I don't know love if that's a idea. hot take. But I more yeah, than I, the bird. I'm curious. I, yeah. the, I think the bird's one of the most Canadian movies in the world. The bird. More than uh, Tusk. I'm trying to think of other. Tusk is pretty Canadian. Canadian like the Sweet Hereafter. I mean, I know that's just, that's just a Canadian movie. I don't think it's a <laughs> hyper Canadian movie. Um, yeah. What else? David Cronenberg has all those random Canadian actors that are like all like pretty bad and just wear <laughs> flannel and just like yes. Yeah. They just like interact with the world. They don't really act. They're just kind of like, huh? In <laughs> like, scanners, weird. they're like really. Yeah. Bad. Sure. Yeah. Cronenberg is Cronenberg Canadian? I forget. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right, so, so that's my that's my dad, but nobody's asking. Oh, oh, okay. I guess I am Canadian in a way. Yeah, deep down. Like um, by you're, blood. <laughs> you're half. Yeah, I'm half. Hey, um, did you feel anything when you went to Niagara Falls? Um, I mean, that's sort of. Uh, I mean, that's an interesting question, David, because it's it's on the border between the two of them, so it's sort of shared between like America you. and Canada, like me. Yeah. Wow, that's symbolic. I, yeah, I, I would cry, probably. I find a lot of symbolism in my life, Rocky. That's what you gotta know. I relate so heavily. Are you like? Do you find a lot in The Witcher Three right now? Are you like feeling really connected? <laughs> yeah, there's. Yeah, I find I. Uh, yeah, when you ride, you can ride a horse and go wherever you want. When I wish you know. We all wish we had that in our lives. You, you know? here. I'm gonna throw out this reference that I think is correct, but you sit down to play Gwent and then you. Just there we leave. go, baby. Yeah. I listened to gaming I, podcasts for a while. <laughs> I, I had been avoiding playing Gwent for 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 the entire time that I've been playing. I haven't had it for very long. I've had it for about a week. There you but go. But I've been avoiding playing Gwent because it seemed like too much to get into, and I played it for the first time today, like in uh, in actual practice, and it's. A blast! It's so fun. I bet. I mean, they made its whole like side game, like its own thing. Yeah, so I'm, I, I imagine that. it must be like somewhat entertaining or it, engrossing. It's cool. It's pretty simple, but it's definitely it's definitely fun. 
Cool. Did you like the show? I didn't watch the show, and I haven't played any of the games. I just know. I would say the show is a lot of fun and yeah, surprise like know. campy. Okay. But do you know the story that the guy that plays Superman? He literally like was like, I want to be the Witcher. Like he was, <laughs> he, he was. I he Whoa. like got he got like the costume. I think he like rented a costume and got the hair and like sent photos to the producers because he was like, please let wow. me. Wow, that's like I love. Wow, he yeah. loved the game. That's like Jim yes, Carrey. He loves the game. That's like that's Jim Carrey so doing funny. like a his own audition tape to play Andy Kaufman in his house, just like pretending to be him or something like that for 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 Man in the Moon. But for the guy from The Witcher, what's his name again? Geralt. Geralt of of Rivia. Oh my god, yeah. guys! What? Yoga with Adrian retweeted me. Whoa! Ooh. Congratulations! It's a good oh tweet. My. I'm gonna pull oh up the tweet. Oh my god! We'll put now the all tweet. Those tweets are gonna get to her. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! I think I'm. I think I'm screwed. I think I'm. Oh no! I feel like I'm gonna get the. Tra- uh oh. What was what? it? I want. I want this woman and her dog to kill me. Is that yes. what you said? I want this woman and her dog to kill me. I was recommended this YouTube channel recently, even though I also knew about it before. So, and my lower back has been fucking killing me, so I might what? have to check hey, out these videos. Great. I it's mean, so I love it. Fun. What have you said about her that's so bad? No, I don't know. I just feel like I, I just You've talked like about her. the dog's penis a fair amount. You yeah. talked about her dog's penis. If you, I bet if you do my uh, the yoga with Adrian, I probably tre- I was tweeting some crazy shit about it. Let's start. Let's see. I Can we get that tweet maybe in the in the Photoshop? I was thinking about that too. Yeah, if I can probably. No, these yeah. are all these are all lighthearted, Luke. I would say I move. No, you did right. I moved to LA to marry Yogo. And- <laughs> I saw that also. That's a little. Yeah. yeah. That's okay, baby. I don't know. Um, here, here's where I actually <laughs> suck at some sort of tech. Um, how do you do screenshots on PCs? I'm, I was a Mac boy for a long time, and then I finally got this sick print gaming screen. print screen. Do you have the print screen key on your keyboard? Okay, that opened up something here. I don't. That's that opened up some sort of code. Um, print is it shift print screen? Do, you might have to do function print screen. Function print screen. Oh. And it won't save it like a Mac, but I think if you paste it, then it'll it, show up. It opened Microsoft OneDrive. Well, I can just like screenshot it on my oh, phone sorry. and then send it. No, it's fine. This is good. But we're, we're making progress here, uh, I think. This might be the last thing I add, unless you guys have anything else you want me to just throw quickly in here. You can't see because of the, the screen, but Ezra Miller is uh, kind of holding Ty Sheridan's floating head like he <laughs> it's like a, like a Mortal Kombat yeah. fatality or something. That's cool. That's yeah. cool, man. Like he's Shang Tsung or something. But uh, like, that, like that water tube he's going to be holding soon. Mmm. Water too. What's that a reference in, to? In Dune, I guess. <laughs> oh right, right, right. He's in Dune also. I didn't know that. Is there a is? Isn't he? Oh Isn't no, I'm thinking of the other one, it's, Timothy it's Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. Timothy. I heard. I heard that Timothy Chalamet and Lucas Hedges hate each other. Wow, that's funny. That really? That's yeah. great. I love that. Huge beef between the boys. What? How? What do they have to hate each other about? Like what? From, just, from Lady Bird? Just like, mad just dogging each other on the on the Lady Bird <laughs> set. <God>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's crap. playing the cool guy. Yeah, he's bitch, I'm the- gay in this movie. Yeah, just like having a real, <laughs> real tiff. Wow. Everyone's like, isn't it about the the? Is it about Lady Bird? Is it about the women? And they're like, no. <laughs> in unison, they scream at the person asking like, that. No, no. <laughs> this is our game. God, now that's a movie. All right, well we're th- they knew each other from before. Yeah, I think they're new. They're York like guy. the Prestige. Yeah. Were they both? In- oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna chuck this in here. And see what happens. Yeah, that's that. That tweet's in there now. Um, <laughs> this is like a like a vision board of some sort. I feel like it's yeah, just cool. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Oh wait, we didn't get Ezra Miller. Well, we don't. No really wait, either. that's hey, Ezra Miller in the bottom right. He's in there. Holding. Oh, you know what? I thought that was Finn Wolfhard. <laughs> oh, God. Have you guys They're heard? The Rorschach test. Yeah, basically. It's like, you know, which young star do you think this is? And then what does that say about you? Um, have you have you heard Finn Wolfhard's band? Only heard it in the context of Nick and Brad's band. I was going to say I that's, never, like, yeah. yeah, that's like the cultural, like, I guess, <laughs> if you want to say that, the massive culture. But, yeah, I wonder how bad it is. That sounds like it would be pretty fun to listen to for, for how terrible it is. Um, what is this tweet? I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just on the timeline now, fellas. I hope, hope you don't mind. 
Yeah, let's just scroll Twitter. Yeah, what is this? Is this the Rush Hour 2 trailer? Yeah. Cool. Damn, I just watched all three of those movies while I was in New Mexico. How fucking crazy... You did? How crazy is it that fucking... What's his name? Rosemary's baby almost got killed by the Manson family, bitch, Mr. Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski's in Rush Hour 3, isn't he? Is what? He like he plays Luke. St- tell me if I'm talking about a deleted scene or if this is actually in the movie. But he plays a guy at the airport who stops the two characters, oh. and then like gives them a, a cavity search, which is just distasteful in my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> it seems yes. I didn't realize that's Roman Polanski, but he plays like a French cop who is like, "You come into my country, well, I'm going to go inside your butt." <laughs> the fucking That's crazy. That's not Why? Good. The audacity of uh casting fucking uh yeah, gross anyway. It's uh, crazy cuz Chris Tucker and planes and aviation in general have no sort of bad connections absolutely it. not it seems like like a weird coincidence of some sort also sorry to my friends in the chat uh, I, i'm ignoring you i i, I kind of panicked and i was trying to make this piece come together uh i think it did i think it's worth it that i alienated my friends but uh yeah that's our fault no are you kidding me Robbie. no hey guys don't don't apologize i brought you on for a reason i'm having a lot of fun and i think we created a cool piece of art here okay and my friends and you got- you asked earlier, this is art, Rocky, and I say definitely now, without a shadow of a doubt, this is installation art. Yeah, this can go up somewhere. Um, any last thoughts or ideas, or should we close the book on this thing? Do we get the original cube back in there? Yeah, absolutely. I'm just going to try and find the cube again. Aww. Love you, Aiden. Sorry. I just saw that you saved it, so I just was hoping it could go back in there. For sure. It's here somewhere. Um, let's see. Go. It's probably right. causing more comments to go by. I've really messed up. No, guys, come on. Yeah, no. yeah, mess up. David, you didn't mess up, man. Don't worry. Aiden, uh, some yeah, keep, maybe keep it like that. I like that, actually. Oh, you like it with the cube just kind of like on there, uh, not <laughs> just kind of clean? <laughs> yeah, sir, this is beautiful. <laughs> Wait, can we add a background image of some sort? Absolutely. This thing's transparent, baby. Uh, let me just acknowledge some of my friends' uh, suggestions here. Uh, no Face from Spirited Away could fit in this yeah. for sure. That'd be good. Because of the Miyazaki had all the images that are... Right. He yes, he did. Now. It's true. This is legal Wait, then. What? Miyazaki... Like... Yeah, go ahead, David. Please describe. No, please. No, please. Go ahead. Please. All I've been doing is listening to podcasts. I don't know anything. You gotta go. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. You're too kind. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Uh, Miyazaki and the Ghibli co- Company um, studio made like a thousand still images from their films, like free to use, like legally, oh. I guess. Wow. Yeah. yeah, which is pretty pretty neat. Um, they use them in sketch comedy. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like finally, snipping tool found it. Now I know how to do the uh, the, the little screenshots. Thank you, Aiden. I, I've learned something today, and you've helped out. You've leveled up, up. Rocky sucks at Photoshop. Go ahead. I, I put out a press release about I, I made several million frames from some of my sketches available uh, free to use. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really hard to <laughs> it's really hard to parse. It's like just a really really loose and like old school like web development. Uh, page that just has like t- like tiff files one after one after another Wait, um, is, there, is that really what it is no i don't think it's actually like that but i like the idea that like he's like here here's this fucking uh fucking card page i made go ahead oh, and have at it they're organized by movie this is so cool pretty neat right um what's a good background then should we should we get a still of no face as the background to like kind of combine yeah. ideas here great um here. free ghibli images here i got you i got you oh thank you now this is collaboration now this is this is pod racing now this is pod racing i wonder if i want i watched that actually within the last two years and i didn't hate it so maybe maybe everyone's right that george lucas is a vulgar tourist wow this is all in japanese oh beautiful gorge i hope i'm not blowing up ben o'brien's spot when he said that uh the difference between uh him and us age-wise was that he doesn't think that pod racing is cool and we all do wow yeah we're like so steadfast on the opinion that pod racing is awesome yeah. and that it was yeah. great well, and we're right we're right i think we're right i i kind of i kind of agree with I, also, I also think that the darth Maul fight is cool 
Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, when he reveals 100%. the second lightsaber. Sure. Somebody, yeah. somebody tweeted, uh, "Why you sent it to us?" That that was like, "It's cool they gave Sebulba women." It was like just <laughs> this, this picture of Sebulba with just two Twi'lek like slaves. It's so crazy. Uh... <laughs> Does it get better than that? Yeah, I think Tatooine's got some work to do. They should do a Sebulba spinoff. Just like him, kind of grinding. <laughs> Hold on, I'm thinking of Watto. So Bulba's the racer, like the one who... Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, right, right. Right. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Watto, Watto is the guy who is Watto, uh, just a Watto does Lebanese not get man. Yeah. He does not get laid. No women for him. No. no. He, has, he has to keep slaves in order to well, have women. Well, he does women. get one woman. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, right. Anakin's Man, <laughs> George Spoiler Lucas alert. fucking rules. <laughs> that's the, that's the well, takeaway I'm taking from this. I, I spoiled the Phantom Menace to everybody. Way to go. Anakin has a mom, but not a dad. Watto's his stepdad. <laughs> it's just a dysfunctional family. It's like a Noah Baumbach movie. I want a Noah Baumbach esque one off of Watto, <laughs> young Anakin, and Anakin's mother. <laughs> What's uh, your name? Shmi? Shmi. <laughs> yeah. Why did they give From the guy who off? named music Jizz in his movies comes <laughs> yeah. Shmi. Shmi. God, what? It literally is like, uh, what, what, what would be the name of a slave? I don't know. Just one syllable. Not it feels like a thing like, I'll change this later. And then he completely <laughs> forgot. Shmi. I don't Shmi. know. Oh, my God. Well, folks, I think... I think we've made a piece of art here, and thanks to the good. thanks to the this help of uh, one Hayao Miyazaki, who I, I will credit as a producer on this piece. Yeah. Um, Thank God. Boy, oh boy. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna save this here as Shrimp Boys. Final. Oh, Great, and I'll send that to you for your own usage. You can do whatever you want with it. Do nothing with it. Let it die in the DMs. That's totally fine with me. <laughs> but otherwise, fellas, thank you so much for helping me make this piece of art. I hope you like it. I hope you're happy. We love it. I love it's it. It's been an honor and a pleasure to be here. Oh, I'm yeah, so... I love this show. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Can I pitch one thing? Please, yeah. You've obviously already established a brand, but I did have the thought that it might have been called the uh, Rocky's Horror Picture Show or something to that effect. <laughs> that is too good of an idea, unfortunately. I really, I really like it, yeah. Um, also, I've never seen Rocky Horror Picture Show, so I, I feel like I'd be like lying to people, but no, I like it. I like it. Um, I like it. Yeah, Rocky sucks at Photoshop is so clunky, but I kind of like the, the the punch that sucks adds to the title. I, I, it's got zing. It's got it's got a little zest to it for sure. But I'm gonna think about that, David. Thank you very much. Um, cool work. Can you guys just do 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 plugs? You guys got a show coming up anytime soon? Are you guys part of any cool fundraiser shows coming up? We're doing. It. David, take it away. Sure. All <laughs> right. Okay. So um, on. Uh, I actually don't think this has been announced yet. So oh, an exclusive? Exclusive. Um, uh, if you, uh, DSALA is doing a phone banking push, um, 15 days for Proposition 15. And if you donate, or your time, rather, uh, on, uh, I believe, at least two of those phone banking uh, days between now and October 29th, um, you can get an exclusive link to uh, a show that has a pretty good lineup that uh, I don't know is locked yet, so I'm not going to say it. Ooh. But it is uh, legitimately very cool. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, so uh, Proposition 15, uh, for people who don't know, oh boy, I'm going too long. I'll be quick. You're okay, please. Uh, it, it, uh, it closes a loophole whereby uh, wealthy corporations and commercial uh, uh, property owners in uh, L.A. County uh, got to pay decades old valuations on property and it's going to make them pay updated valuations on those property in taxes um, money that will go to schools and services Hell it's yeah. very good it's going to hopefully fundamentally transform los angeles away from being a hellscape um so yeah oh boy yeah so many things that are very important to vote on if you're a local los angelian um i've been phone banking for holly mitchell and so i'm glad that there are other causes and folks oh, yeah. being, uh, yeah, Wyatt and I have been phone banking. That's been a, a, a good connective thing for the We're two of us. We're yeah. coworkers. Yeah, we are. We're truly coworkers. I feel like I, I, I would look over the, the cubicle and be like, "Hey, man, this is this is crazy. Isn't What's it? going on here, man? It's wacky. Let's, what we're doing right now is wacky." Let's get lunch. Absolutely, Wyatt. Where would you want to go to lunch? This is a plug section. <laughs> where would you want to go to lunch if we were cubicle mates? Uh, well, where where's the office, man? I'm gonna say we're in. <laughs> I'm gonna say we're in Burbank. And my pitch: Islands Burgers and Fries. That, I, I, you know what? I'm going right with that. That sounds great. 
That's what we really want. That's Friday night lunch, or Friday lunch. We're really cutting loose. Yeah, absolutely. That's good. Mm -hmm. Can I do my plug really quick? Please, Luke, please. So at Cold Stone right now, I'm not sure exactly why. I don't know if it's because it's the 35th anniversary of Super Mario Bros, but they do okay. have a Super Mario milkshake. It has stars in it. Uh, <laughs> Mario and Luigi are featured. They're Ooh. on the carts from Mario Kart, but that doesn't seem to be part of the flavor. Maybe that's just the graphics Nintendo side off of, but please try it. It's very good. Awesome. Okay. Okay. And my pitch, I'm going to be at the islands in Burbank uh, playing <laughs> with your three, a handheld on the Switch. Uh, yes. Holding, holding epic Gwent tournaments. Who, uh, If you win, you get the rest of my bank account. <laughs> That's a re reason enough to go inside an establishment and stay there for longer than uh -huh. you need to. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to be in there. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last minute detail there that why it is in fact going to be inside the yeah. islands for a while. Yeah. Uh, David, Wyatt, Luke, thank you so much for joining us today, and thanks for making this piece of art. And also, thanks for doing comedy and um, <laughs> comedy playing. No, that's it. Uh, no, I meant thanks for doing comedy and doing shows that are like you know um, for good causes and for good people who are hopefully going to change our city and the world for the better. I, I think it's awesome. Right, you guys I got gotcha. We try. Uh, thanks, friends. Uh, have a good night and so long. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Rocky. Thank you. See you Thanks, in the Rocky. Yeah. So long. Good boys. Good boys, those shrimp boys. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I... Oh. I'm sorry I did that. Uh, oh, I see what happened here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Yes. Back to the close-up. Um, so, yeah, when I mentioned earlier that I'm thinking about doing, like, one guest per show, I'd like to extend and focus on our collaboration as an audience. When I get a guest like the Shrimp Boys, who I think are wonderful, hilarious folks, I get very caught up, and I'm still kind of learning how to juggle this. We're on the, episode, the th third episode. I can suck at being a host for, for a little bit here. Um, why did I do what? Why did I get rid of them? Um, well, technically now is the time where we do a collaborative uh, uh, thing here, but... Uh, Hi, friends. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the Shrimp Boys and Bread Witchery, two very wonderful units, because they're three and she's one. I'm so lucky to have such talented people on the show. That's what I'm trying to say here. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. I triggered that bump and I'm quite upset. Yeah, I accidentally added the bump to this scene on OBS, as opposed to creating another scene that is just the bump, which I probably should have done in the first place. I'm still learning. It's my, third, my fourth time using OBS Live. Um, I loved one and hated the other, and they had to fight each other to find out which. Harley would wipe the floor with the shrimp boys. I love those fellows, but she's, she's a tenacious gal. They're a tenacious person. There you go. Um, yeah, uh, I'm so happy to have had them both on. But if you're still around, folks, um, would you like to create a piece of art together? We can do anything you want. You can, I can make a, a fake ID for you all. I can make a, uh, you know... Uh, like a book cover. I can make a family photo. I can do anything. Please let me know. Any suggestions in the chat? Let's go ahead and do it. My dog is asleep right next to me. Can I make a, dec a decorated ballot? Interesting. So do you mean like, what do you mean by decorated? I feel like a, I feel like a doof for not knowing what you mean by decorated. Um, but I, I'll gladly do, do anything uh, uh, for you guys. Uh, just gussied up. Okay, great. So like a like let's say voter ballot. Let's see what we can do to improve. What does a voter voter ballot look like? I just had one. I mailed mine off recently. Uh, very proud of myself and anyone who votes. You know, like here, this is good. This is weird. What is this? Fake it would be handy since you're turning 26 tomorrow. Congratulations and also welcome to being 26. It's a nightmare. Um, a ballot, but fancy with sparkles. Okay, I like that. This feel, this is a very plain looking ballot. That's is that even a ballot? Um, here we go. Sure, yeah. Let's take this. Uh, yeah, midlife crisis time. Welcome. It's a hoot. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm just happy they didn't acknowledge that I labeled their their guest photo as sexy photo. Um, let's see audience why does that encapsulate the other ones aren't i don't know uh let's see prompts we are gonna make this a uh, uh decorated sexy ballot hell yeah uh let's see sparkles hurt sparkles 
You are more important to me than the Shrimp Boys. <laughs> They'll understand. No, I love you all. Thank you so much for making this show possible by watching it and being a part of it. Um, your involvement and collaboration is something that I think I need to actually focus on to make it like an even more important show. And importance is what I'm looking for. The show needs to be important. No, I'm kidding. Sparkles. Transparent. Yes. Hmm. Ooh. Oh. Okay. This is, yeah, this is it. Oh boy, keep throwing stuff out. How can we make this ballot even more exciting and uh, pretty and gussied up, as it were? Uh, here we go. I didn't even put the ballot in. What am I doing? Silly me. Go ahead and get this ballot. Audience, ballot in question. Is this a specific ballot? Newport News general election. I don't know any of these people. That's fine. We're gonna we'll, we'll keep it as cartoon character stickers. Yes, I want it to be clear that Rocky was the one who added sexy. Well, well, yeah. Big Lisa Frank vibes. Really, really, really good. And yeah, it does, doesn't it? I got to create a thing that says like you, the viewer. Um, where is it? There we go. And like have like a. I have a. I can create a GIF from the trailer that we made for the show. It's a hand that just kind of like pointing in and out of the camera. I can just have that looping down below. That'd be kind of fun. I should write that down somewhere. Another thing I need to do. I just like making myself busy. That's all I do. Uh, let's see. Everything now show. I'm literally doing this right now so I can remember to do that tomorrow. Um, get finger points from trailer. For Thank audience. you. We eat the money. Yes. David. Yum, yum. Ten dollars. That's so sweet of you. Ten dollars going straight to the Armenia Fund. Thank you so much. If you're still watching, you can donate money to the Armenia Fund. Uh, there's terrible things happening right now <laughs> regarding uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan, and um, the Armenian people deserve to be heard and not harmed, and we need to help them out. So any funds you give us will go straight to them. Hopefully, uh, well, it will. You know, we'll, we'll make sure of that. But yes, thank you. Uh, for audience participation section of Rocky Sucks at Photoshop. I'm still pretty hopped up on coffee. This is a wild sensation. I'm sweating through this shirt. Uh, where is it? Cover that. Perfect. There we go. Back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. Uh, what does a sexy ballot mean to me? We're gonna get Lin Manuel Miranda's lip bite in this. That's I, I just realized that's what it's gonna be. Uh, hey, yeah, Michigan friends. Mitch is awesome. Just moved to LA. Aiden moved just moved to Michigan from LA. I guess not just, but you know. Um, Lin Manuel Miranda lip bite. Ugh. 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 Why did I do this? Why did I decide this? All right, here it is. That's big, that's a big image. I have to turn my computer off and light it on fire. I'm really sorry, folks, Mitch is right. This is not good. Um, Yao Ming, gone. Heaven light, gone. Pretty proud of these pieces of art today. Great stuff, folks. This is a fun. This is a fun show. I'm, I'm getting used to hosting it, and for posting for two hours in general. It's been a while. Um, oh no, thank you. Oh, folks, yes, we're gonna have to do this right now. Um, oh. All right, prepare yourselves. Hold on, real close. Okay. Let's do this quick. I don't want. It, I don't want to do this much longer. Good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the nose also. Yeah. Oh, I'm so tempted to get all this like loose hair. Not to make fun of the guy. I can not grow a beard. I, I, I'm, I'm forever doomed to not have a full beard. Even though at some point I wanted it when it was like trendy, when everyone was talking about bacon and shit. Now this is this is gonna be cathartic, right here. Someone clip this.
No, that was just horrifying. That just made it worse, I think. That somehow made it a little worse. But we're going to chuck it on here. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, a watermark. You could make the Lin-Manuel Miranda huge as an overlay in the entire ballot. Yeah, that's really good. I like that idea a lot. I was going to say, I don't even know where to put it. Um, I could just a little, just like perfect. It's like a seal. <laughs> it's like the county seal. This is like the thing that you put on like, you know, on the walls of the courthouse and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this has got to be transparent. Hi, Jolene. You hungry? Too bad. Don't clip that. I don't want to be the next Alinity. Alinity? Alinty? Alinty. There we go. She's nuzzling up against my knee. Hi. Love you, Jolene. I should get a webcam on the ground for when we're doing the show so you can just watch Jolene. She's up on my leg. Hi. Want to say hi? Let's see. Um, this is a horrifying idea. Thanks, Wavy Lines. Oh, you want to get up? Here we go. Say hello, Jolene. Hmm? <laughs> she licked my mouth. You hate this. Good. Good. Honestly, good. Oh, no. She's, she sees my burrito. She wants it. Hi, Jolene. Say hello to the people. Jolene, what would you stream if you were a streamer? If you were a hardcore Twitch girl. Oh my gosh. You're lucky you're cute. Go away. I love you. That dog licked my mouth. Not good. Um, this is pretty sexy as is. I'm going to add the sparkles. I forgot about that. Uh, new. New. Whoa. Accident. Did not mean to do that. New. Default. There we go. That's the ticket. That's the good stuff right there. Why do I like doing an Australian accent so much? Why do I find it so fun and so fascinating? That's right. That's a good time right there. Going to Hungry Jicks. Getting myself a burger. Putting some french fries on the table. I apologize to all Australians. Yeah, we need to put some Lisa Frank stuff here. Maybe at least like one Lisa Frank thing. Um, this is fun. Okay, I'll make this nice and cool. Oh, good. Thank you, Wavy, for doing that. I'm very happy about that. I'll, I'll, I'll tweet that tomorrow for sure. Um, yeah, what's a, like a good Lisa Frank? I uh, am finding a lot of new appreciation for Lisa Frank as an as an art genre. I like maximalism a lot. I, really, I think it's interesting and I think it's cool and I kids get to kind of share that when they're kids. Um, I know it's a really really great idea. I've seen some worse things that people have photoshopped his mouth onto, one of which I don't think I'm allowed to say out loud. Well, I can say it out loud, I just don't want to, but Fleshlight. Okay. Um, <laughs> Lisa Frank Pony? Uh, wow. Yeah, right? Let's look at this. It's just like rainbows exploding out of everything. That shit's cool. Um, Lisa Frank, PNG, transparent. We'll just see what happens. Oh, awesome. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's even crazier. This is pretty cool. I'm going to use this. <clears throat> oh, boy. Okay. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Although it's kind of funny. No. Uh, a puppy on a rainbow ice cream cone because why not? Yeah, totally. We're steering away from sexy, but honestly, I think gussied up is, is, is even better. Uh, not fully transparent. just looks like it's transparent. Rasterize. First of all, you're going to rasterize the Leia. Please don't show this to Cardboard Cowboy. If he remembers who we are still. I don't want to ruin our our relationship. They're so cool. Um, really important not to vote hungry. Should it come with a fruit cup or a snack pack or something? I really like that idea. Just a tiny taste. Uh, puppy on a rainbow ice cream cone is a perfect vibe. It is, right? I'm very happy with it. 
We'll put that in like the corner here. Yeah. In fact, go below. And then I'm going to duplicate. Sure. And then this one's going to go over. Oh, no, 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 no. This one's going to go over here. And can I flip? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's going to get rough. I got I to gotta zoom in, I guess. Here we go. Oh, I just want to... Mm. Here, what if I do this? Folks, why does it do this? I get, like, I'm just, I'm trying to right click this. And then it just, it gives me like the, do you mean this one? Here's where, here's where I suck at Photoshop. It took us an hour and two hours and 15 minutes or an hour and 45 minutes. But now I suck at Photoshop. We're stuck. The show's broken. I want to flip this horizontal. Correct layer, I think. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, layer, transform, flip, horizontal. So layer, I think you're right. I think that's correct. Video layers, what the fuck? Um, adjustments. Oh, see this, yeah, this is where it gets, it gets good. Hmm, not there. IDK. Folks, the show's over. Um, I just want to... Oh, see? I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did, but it does that sometimes. Uh, flip horizontal. Yes, that's what I wanted. And just a little bigger. And then boom. Click out and hit it to make it a layer. Oh, I see. Yeah, placement is a very weird element of this where it's like you got to make sure that it's on the page before you can do anything to it. <sighs> Photoshop. A fickle bitch. Sorry for my language. Uh, is there one thing we're going to do? Oh, yeah, like a snack pack. Um, I like I guess I can just look of like Lunchables. Maybe I'll just take a logo that's like included is like a mini soda. New brunchables, good lord. Like a like a little focaccia bun. Cool. Yeah, you gotta get the pizza one, right? The size large. Oh the nacho lunchables, I remember those. What's it that's what I do? I want like one of these like action, you know, like the like now with kind of thing. I guess I can just kind of create that real quick. I, I kind of know what I got to do. Um, here, I'll just do that. Pardon me. Oh, my body. Folks, my lower back has been killing me. I think I'm actually going to die. And actually, I shouldn't talk like that, but it's like a point where I'm like, I'm 26 years old and I have lower back issues and it's driving me nuts. I went to a masseuse recently, and it still hurts. So I think I gotta go to like a chiropractor or something, or tell my actual doctor, like an adult. Rasterize. Always forget to rasterize. Oh yo 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 yo. Great. Chuck that on here. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll put comes with right here. Make this quick, I know what to do. You ever take a dump in a mug? Hmm. Huh. I'm not thinking about dumps when I see this. I think about like, um, like cake batter, like chocolate cake batter, and my mom giving me the spoon. And me being very happy, even though that can give me salmonella. Yeah, I'm going to use this. Don't worry. Um, you don't like that pudding cup? Well, you gave it to me. 
I'm w see how willing I am to use the stuff you give me, people? I'm a bad collaborator. Or you take advantage of me. That's the point. That's the whole show. Everything now is like, hey, we're comedians. Take advantage of us and make us do insane shit. Uh, action. Bubble. Perfect. Transparent. Even better. Yes. Uh, action. Great. Oh, God. It's big again. I'm gonna dump cake Jabri Toast video. <laughs> now you just feel foolish. I don't. You can link it here. I don't think we're gonna watch it on stream, but I'll definitely check it out. Um, that coffee's wearing away, people. I can feel it. But I've had a good time, and I hope you did as well, even though I kind of was a bad host and collaborator with you all. Apologies. <sighs> okay. Mm hmm. Needs a random blood splatter. <laughs> okay, then that's... I think that's where I have to call it afterward. Um, I also was foolish in, ca in getting three people at once to be here. But I, I'm being my self-deprecating self. It's... It, it ain't... It ain't all that big a deal, I know. And you're all absolute menches for... For sticking around and, and having fun. Okay, placed, done, text, right here. Now with Lunchable and Pudding Cup. All that, make it smaller, make it green. Weird green, but I like it. Uh, on, Jerry. No, we gotta use Joker. We gotta use Joker, man. God, you really just can't read that, can you? Oh, I see what happened here. So let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, enough to make you feel bad. No! Yeah, it does. Wavy lines, you get me. <laughs> it's a perpetual cycle of us trying to make each other feel good, but actually making each other feel bad because you're trying to put the blame on yourself. <sighs> Gotta love... Relations. Whatever you can call that. <laughs> you guys are the best. I love y'all. Thanks for making this all so fun and so um, safe in a way, you know? Okay, now I'm rambling. Uh, little drop shadow. Make it clean. Oh, it's bad drop shadow. <laughs> you can barely read that. Great. Um, and then um, now I'm just going to do a little blood splatter. It's so loud. I can't even hear my voice right now. It's so loud. I added that in earlier, thinking like, I hope no, I bet no one's gonna do this. And lo and behold, you look at, you see what is available at your disposal, and you use all of it. You use all parts of the buffalo, like the good-natured Native Americans that we took this land from. I've been thinking a lot about colonialism, folks. <laughs> As a Filipino individual especially, it's been a very strange look at, like, huh. Rasterize. Huh, what a tangent. I'm actually losing it right now. This is awesome. Someone clip this. And for only 100 bits. Yeah, did I did I price that properly? I just chucked it in there. I wasn't even thinking. Uh, wow. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. We'll, we'll make this also... It's kind of canceling out the... Jolene, are you okay? She makes these wild noises. Because she has... She's kind of fat, like myself. We're both fat. Calling it just a little Pollock, you know. <sighs> now, if this was how the ballots looked, I, d I think people would vote more, for sure. I'm just gonna make this big. Fuck it. Who cares if you can't see the rest of the ballot, honestly? Um, 
right. Text. Now with Munchable and Pudding Cup. That is what's up. Oh, it's so 3D. So 3D. So cool. Um, beautiful ballot. I think it should be fully opaque, but smaller. Um, okay, that works too. This is amazing. Yeah, I don't know. There's just so many layers here now, and it feels like I... I don't want to do too much else. And also, I'm a little tired, so I think I'm going to call it, but... Oh boy, thank you so much for making this piece of art. Now we've 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 created the um, the future template of what a ballot could be, you know, to attract voters and to get people to, uh, you know. What if each ballot was personalized? How about that? So we take your information for voter registration and we kind of like combine that with all the information that Google and Facebook is selling the government, I guess, or whatever. And we just kind of see their interests. You know how they listen to you when you're on your phone? And you're like, oh, I really want to watch Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. And then you're on Facebook and it's scrolling and like it's like Hulu ad. Now you can watch your favorite part of Twilight, Breaking Dawn Part 2. Um, it'll be like that. And we'll like get your interests and kind of just like put them all over the place here. Could be a thing. Think about it. I'm going to go ahead and save this. This is wonderful. Thank you so much, folks, for giving me such ridiculous and fun ideas. I hope to do this every week with you for the time being. Audience 3 final beautiful yeah i got um i got this scheduled out with one more show next week um at 8 30 after that i'm going to go back to 7 p.m i'm just doing it 8 30 because i have this phone banking job but mm, hold on i'm going to print this out and mail it in as my ballot there you go so that sounds like the premium voting experience exactly and then you get to put your ballot i, I don't know like on your wall you get a copy of it or something i don't know um but i save this and that is that folks we're going to go back to this shot here um yeah next next monday on rocky sucks at photoshop special guests include ghouls night out very wonderful streaming couple hilarious they do awesome streams where they just watch weird pop culture and discuss it and play marbles and all that kind of stuff they're they're a hoot and a half i'm very excited to have them on and also burgeoning twitch star uh of the of the nephew network nephew quinn who was recently featured on Andy Milanakis's adopt a adopt an affiliate. Yeah, they were recently featured, and I think they won, uh, whatever that means, for that show. But um, yeah, nephew Quinn, awesome, hilarious dude. Um, they're going to be on here, and hopefully, going to make me make some really gnarly stuff. Both both people. Um, oh, of course, Aiden, and then you're going to be uh, Aiden Wood is going to be my guest on November third, and that's going to be my first run of like episodes with one guest and then one audience uh, participation thing but i will say i did time this one much better than i did the last episode and i had coffee so i had the energy to create a third piece with you guys so we'll see maybe i'll keep it at two guests i really liked the idea of like streamer guest comedian slash non-twitch personality you know and then like and then one with the audience shame we'll never do that again oh boy oh jeez. oh boy yeah, just a tiny taste. You're building out the idea very, 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 very well. Aiden, you're so cool that you don't need, I don't need a second guest. That's absolutely correct. I would love to spend an hour with you and just like make something really ridiculous. Um, yeah, you know, we'll see what happens. But yeah, next week, Ghoul's Night Out, Nephew Quinn on Rocky Sucks, Rocky Sucks at Photoshop. Um, tune in on Wednesday. We're toying around with doing an idea around the debate. But if we're not doing something like that, expect another improv episode. Really having fun exploring with that. Um, I get so nervous improvising over <laughs> over a live, like over a call. Um, but you know what? It's fun and experimental. I'm all for it. Um, so yeah. Oh, Aiden, we'll figure something out. Don't worry. We can figure. We'll we'll make a decision at the beginning of the show, and then we can go. You know. But yeah, tune in on Wednesday um, for another episode of Everything Now, 7 p.m. PST. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much, folks. Let's go see who we're going to rate, actually. Um, so thankful for you all. Just a tiny taste. Aiden Wood, Wavy Lines, Mitch for hanging out. Everyone coming in and out. Hope you all had a good time. I didn't even look at the numbers today. I didn't even really look at the friggin' numbers. How are we doing right now? There's, there's 10 people. Beautiful. I love you all. Thank you so much for doing this. And we are going to raid, um, 
Who's on? Who's friggin' on? Uh, wow, not many people. I'm checking the chat, actually. Don't have any suggestions. Um, no. Sand experiment? I was thinking about that. We have them. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna raid sand experiments. Fantastic. Ooh, looks cool. What are they doing? Awesome. We're gonna raid them. Thank you so much again, folks, for joining us on a fun episode of Rocky Sucks at Photoshop and everything now show sideshow. Um, sorry, Aiden. I feel like I always ask for people to raid and then I just make a decision. Even And you suggest some really cool people. Um, hell yeah, Mitch, the pop star steelbook. God, that image is so good with like the bee and everything like that. Ugh. Anyway, thank you all. You're the best. Love you. See you soon. So long. Have fun. Goodbye.